So Jesus, right, he is the one who has, who opens and no one will shut. Who shuts and no one opens. That's talking about opportunity, right? The Lord always, always provides opportunity. He provided it for the church at Philadelphia, and he opens the door to opportunity to us to share his love, his word, his presence, to share his touch in the world around us. There's always opportunity to do that. That is, after all, our purpose in being here. The Word of God says we are ambassadors for Christ, that we have a ministry of reconciliation, that we are to bring the knowledge of the presence of Christ Jesus into every single place. Amen. So the opportunity is always there. You know, I, I do a, a seminar on, <laughs> I have for quite a number of years on biblical principles for, well, it, in the work it started as biblical principles yeah. in the workplace, but it's biblical principles for, for personal and professional growth. Everything that I'm going to share with you today comes out of my favorite book. Because the employee handbook is... Listen, God has given us a handbook for how to live life and live it to get abundant life, to have joy made full. That's the handbook for our life. And I teach about opportunity because I talk about how you have to have the vision to see opportunity, but you have to have the boldness to seize the opportunities. When I mention a vision to see opportunity, well, what I'm talking about is faith. Because vision for a Christian is the ability to see with your heart what you can't see with your eyes. We walk by faith and not by sight. That's what Paul said, right? So faith comes by hearing and hearing by the Word. So vision for us is hearing what God says. That opens the eyes of our heart, right? To see wonderful things, right? Obedience is seizing the opportunity. So vision is the ability to see the opportunity, and obedience is the ability to seize the opportunity, to accomplish his purpose. Say that again. I don't know if I can. I, 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 I said that, okay, first of all, vision is about, for us, for Christians, because we walk by faith and not by sight, is our ability to hear from God, get that instruction, because he tells us what he sees. Right. He sees way yes. in the future. Yes. He knows the end of it. He knows the end of the matter, absolutely. So when we have that vision, we have to have that to be able to see the opportunity that he gives, that he places before us, the door that he opens for us to share him. But it takes boldness to seize the opportunity. How often do we have the opportunity to share God's word? And we just pay no attention, right? You know, the very famed inventor, Thomas Alva Edison, okay, he said, opportunity is missed by most people because it's dressed in overalls and looks like work. Yeah. Napoleon Hill once wrote, opportunity often comes disguised in the form of misfortune. Now, those are actually, they line up very well with Scripture, right? There are so many examples in Scriptures of apparent misfortunes being the very hand and the plan of God in Scripture, mm -hmm. right? <clears throat> Joseph, way back in Genesis, mm -hmm. was dropped in a well by his brothers, sold off into slavery into Egypt. Didn't look good. Didn't look good at all. Mm -hmm. It resulted in the preservation of a remnant. God's remnant on earth. Genesis 45, 7. Stephen being stoned to death. What an incredible opportunity. It resulted in Saul of Tarsus hearing the good news. Lord, do not hold this sin against them. That's what Stephen said in Acts 7, 16. That was a seed that was planted that would bear fruit much later on the road to Damascus. And that changed the world. Yes, it did. Paul, Paul and Silas were beaten unjustly, tossed into a jail in Philippi, in the darkest, deepest part of that jail, right? Mm -hmm. Misfortune. That was an opportunity for them in their faithfulness to God to be used for the salvation of the jailer 
and his family. So oftentimes, I mean, opportunity, it doesn't look like, oh, you have, you know, you get a hand out of track. It, it may not look pretty, but it'll be magnificent. Yes. Okay? The outcome, the result. So God's going to open the door. The, the, the real question boils down to, are you ready to go through the door? Well, it all boils down to obedience. Well, but are you willing to pay the price? On a hill, far away, stood an old ruby cross, a symbol of suffering and shame. And I love that old cross where the dearest and best for a world of lost sinners was slain. So I'll cherish the old rugged cross till my trophies at last I lay down. I will cling to 